Is this the best audit and inspection platform for facility management businesses? Maybe, let's find out. I am Darcy from Bravis Technology. We're gonna do a full review of the safety culture platform as it relates to a, an FM firm or a building services type company. We'll work through a cleaning example, but this can really be used across the, the broad range of services that you might be providing to someone who owns a commercial or residential building. Um, we'll work through the different personas that would use uh, the safety culture platform, so the different people in your organization, and we'll chat through how much it might cost to get going at your organization at the end. Let's get started. Yeah, so I've tried to break this down into four different personas that would use the safety culture platform. Um, we've got the site or regional manager. These are the folks that are actually visiting your client sites, performing audits and inspections, um, maybe assigning corrective actions out to the team and just generally communi communicating updates. Um, we've got the cleaners that would be actually completing the cleans. They need to be inducted to site. Um, they need to understand what tasks they need to, to do and, and what issues have been picked up at their site. Um, and just the way that they would interact with the tool. We'll talk about someone at the director level, so maybe an operations director, how they might review the dashboards that are coming through. Um, they might act on um, poor performing sites or, or be able to identify poor performing sites. We'll touch on as well the, the, the way that the client might be able to interact with this platform, how they might be able to raise concerns or, or view um, data and reports. But let's get straight into it with the, the site and regional manager. So the first thing that's really powerful about safety culture, and, and this runs through for all scenarios and use cases of safety culture, is the, the template editor. This is basically a tool that lets you build in a process, be it an audit or be it a, an inspection, basically a set of questions and procedures that you want your team to then follow out in the field, and they will then complete this on a mobile application or, or, a, or, a, or a tablet. So you can see at the, the top of a, a template, they're going to, we're going to have information that relates to um, like the who, what, and where of, of this check or this inspection. So we're building here a, a cleaning checklist that we might do at a, at a commercial building site. Um, we can tag things with the asset. This is basically going to tag the client, the location, who's doing the audit, all these sorts of things. So that's really important. And a lot of those are automated in safety culture when you start your, your check. We then go through and build in the core question set that we're going to ask our regional managers or site managers to, to perform while on site. You can see here that you can build in um, multiple choice scoring. You can really just link this with your contract SLA. So if, you know, in this example, if I was a cleaning company and, and we said that we were going to maintain a 90% score. And, and so basically, if I say that a site is clean, um, I want that score to come back as, as 90%. I've got perfect, which will give me a score of 100%, and then dropping down to fair and poor. So you can really build in um, different scoring structures to give you the, the outcome that, that you basically need based on the, the, the performance that you're seeing on site. The other thing that's really important with safety culture is the ability to build in logic into the template. So whereas a, a survey monkey or other inspection tools might just be linear or uniform, um, the logic basically are, are a bunch of if statements. So if the answer is X, you now must do Y or you now must uh, answer this question. Um, and so in this example, what's common is we can say, okay, if we've found something that's poor, we're going to require um, evidence be attached. So that is um, a, a photo or a video in this scenario, which is that require media. Um, and then we're also going to require corrective action to be assigned. So the the manager says, all right, we found something that's poor. I'm going to have to, it's mandatory for me to create a corrective action and assign it to, to one of my team. Just on that assets function, when you set up your, your account, it's advisable you to use assets or there's another part in safety culture called sites where we can basically tag in all of the locations that we're going to do an audit on. Um, we recommend using the assets function because it means you can save in um, your contracts, you can save in floor plans, and this will be a, an overview of all the activity, be it corrective actions, be it uh, inspections that are happening on a site, and it just gives you one nice central view, which is what you're seeing here. Cool, so let's pull up the, the mobile application. I'm now the, the, the site manager, I'm going to a site um, and so I'm going to pull up the site that I'm going to. This is the, the Chelsea Bank, you know, Santander site that I manage. I can pull up that same information on my phone. So I can see here, like I say, contracts. Um, I can see floor plans. And so this might just be um, information that you might have ready on hand before you get on site. You can then see that um, we've got 
uh, a scheduled inspection that I'm going to start. And so now I can work through that question set that someone in head office has designed for me. You can see here that the GPS is going to pull through the site and the, the asset's already linked there because I've, I've been scheduled to this specific site. Um, I can then work through the core of my audit. There might be a section for me to talk to the client and get some feedback. Um, so in this example, I'll say that the client um, reported a, a spillage. So let me just put this through. Um, and then we, we've made it mandatory here for, for me to take a photo or to add evidence as to what that, that client complaint was so that the, whoever's looking at the report, report next has the context. So I can easily snap in a photo here and just say, yep, this is where the issue was. Safety Culture really invests a lot in the speed at which these photos can be uploaded. All of this can be done offline so that you can just complete it. If you're you know, not in, in internet reception, you can just complete the check um, offline. And then when you're back online, it will, it will push through to your account. But let's just go through and we'll just answer off the, the, the core questions here. You can see if I look at the history at this site, I can see all of the previous questions that we've completed. So there might be a, a consistent issue that keeps popping up that I want to look at the photos of retrospectively, um, or I can see if there are any actions relating to this photo. If we've identified a, a, a failure or, or an area that we need to improve on, I've marked it as poor. I need to then take some photos or take some evidence as to what the issue was. I can annotate on these photos, which is really helpful just to, to identify what the actual issue was. This will then be embedded for the next person to come through and see. Um, and, and like I say, in scenarios where we want to set it up, we can say, okay, we need to create a corrective action. What's also helpful, which you can see here, is you can set up reference images for what good looks like um, or what clean looks like in this example. Um, you can crowdsource these images from previous inspections and say, okay, this is what we need it to look like every time. But if you've got a client that's really particular around how something should be set up, you can embed that reference image and say, hey, this is what it needs to look like every week. Um, how does your site compare to that? Okay, great. Mine actually looks exactly like this. I'm going to mark it now as, as perfect. If we go through and, and we fail a, another item, uh, let's just say that we've identified an issue with the basins in this bathroom. Again, it's really quick and easy with the Safety Culture tool to, to snap photos. You can also take videos if, if that's going to be uh, helpful for, for the clients. And then I can raise a corrective action. So you can see here it's going to ask me, there's another open action that relates to this question, is it is it going to be the same action because it's you know it's a repeat from from last week that we haven't we haven't fixed up or last month? But I'll say no. This is this is a new action that we need to create. I will provide a description and a title for the action, and this is basically what we're going to assign to cleaners or just broadly assign to the client site to say, hey, we've identified something that we need to fix up, um, and this is going to have a due date and a priority. And the next time I come back to this site, I'm going to want to see that all of the corrective actions I've I've created have actually been been closed out. So we can assign this to specific individuals. If you leave it blank, it's just going to assign it to the client site you're at, which is probably the better approach. Um, just means that whoever's coming to the site next will be able to, to see it. We can tag it with, with a specific type of, of action. But cool, that, that's sort of the, the, the way that a manager would then do an actual inspection or an audit on site. Um, they'd capture photos, they'd be answering and providing a performance score maybe assigning actions, they'll get to the bottom and we'll, we'll complete a, a client sign off here um, and just confirm, yep, the client's happy with this. Um, I can assign all the corrective actions in bulk if I want at the end of the, um, at the, end of the audit. But great, basically I've now completed my, my inspection on, on site. So super valuable through the, the Safety Culture app is just the, the ease and the fluidity of the app. You want it to feel really frictionless for, for someone to go through. The team there sort of designed it in a way that it feels like, you know, Instagram or all of your other apps. And so it becomes quite valuable to and easy to, to capture data um, because it's, it's so frictionless. The other thing that a manager might do, which the Safety Culture tool does well, is, is through a tool called Heads Up. It's basically a one-to-many communication tool. But I can say, all right, I've identified some big issues at this site. I've created some actions, but I, I really want to, to drive the message home to, to the team here. Or maybe I need to send out an alert to all the, all the people in my region um, with a, a critical update, maybe a toolbox talk style message. But I can essentially record a video, which is what you're seeing here. Um, I, can, um, I can basically say, hey guys, we've, we've found a really big issue on site. Um, we need you to, to you know, keep this in mind the next time you get on site. I, I record this video and I send it out to the team. It basically requires that they 
view the the video they can leave comments and, and they can show me that they've actually interacted with the video and it's just a way to to communicate effectively and quickly if there are in this example cleaning issues but maybe it's a, a client complaint maybe it's a, a building safety issue we need to alert so it's just a way that we can um, sort of systemize the communication and, and critical updates cool yeah so that, that's the regional manager site manager this is someone who's really the main user of the system but they're going onto site they're doing the audits or inspections. They're grading how we're doing. Um, they're assigning corrective actions out to the team to make sure the issues that they've identified are um, being addressed. And then if required, they can also send out this one-to-many communication sort of tool. Great, so let's move on to the cleaner or the actual building operative. So maybe it's a security guard, maybe it's a building manager, a repairs and maintenance sort of individual. How, do, how would they actually interact with this, this platform? So Safety Culture has a, a learning component called Safety Culture Training now, which can be really um, good for site-specific inductions. You can use it holistically for your LMS, but what, what I think is valuable in this sort of example is, okay, before a cleaner gets on site or before they go do a certain task, that they actually do a, a site-based induction. So you can see here, I've just, I'll just jump through quickly an example of a, a learning course that can be set up for a cleaner. This is an LMS-style um, micro-learning course so um, I can answer questions, I can get feedback based on wrong answers, I get positive feedback based on correct answers. So it kind of follows a method of, hey, here's some content and now answer some questions. So that can be just a really quick way to induct someone into a site and say, this is what you need to do on this site. This is all of the, the um, components of the site which, which are important to know about. Here's a safety briefing to make sure that you're operating in a safe way. Then the, that cleaner would maybe come through and just review the corrective actions that have been assigned to them or, or assigned to the sites that they're at. They can pull up that same asset profile that we've seen um, before, or they can just go to their actions tab and they can see, okay, these are the four actions or the three actions that I've been assigned that I need to go fix up. You can see this example before we work through West, I, I highlighted that the basins needed cleaning up. Um, well, I can then answer as a cleaner that, yep, I'm on it. I'm going to um, go through and, and clean the basins. I'll take a photo of what I've done once I've completed it to show the management team that, yep, I've, I've done this task. You can even loop in clients to this stage as well if the client wants to know when you fix up a specific issue. Um, so essentially that activity feed is going to just be our WhatsApp messaging group, if you will, um, of the way that we've, we've essentially answered that, that uh, action that's been raised. You can then see as well, I've got a, a heads up alert. Um, so this is the, the, the message that my manager sent me. Um, I can turn on closed captions if English is my second language. Um, I can watch that review and then comment on it or confirm that I've, I've you know, understood what the message is. So again, it's just a way that if you're trying to drive a sort of a, a continuous improvement and, and drive information between a manager and a cleaner, um, it's just a really frictionless way to communicate that back down to cleaners. Cool, so let's talk about someone at the operations director sort of level. So I can, as a manager sitting in head office, I can look at the individual reports that are coming through from my sites. If I just pull up an example at that Chelsea, the bank site that we're looking at, I can go through, I can look at the photos that have been raised. Um, I can see how we've scored on these individual reports. And so that might be step one is just to look at a, a snapshot of the way that we're reporting issues, the way that we're closing out actions. And I can just do this through through the desktop application of, of Safety Culture. You can set up some automations around low performing audits being automatically sent to management, um, but really you would just take a sample and you would look at maybe poor performing sites and, and top performing sites. If you go to the asset as well, um, this is also a good dashboard sort of view where I can look at all of the individual actions that are happening on a site. But really what, I, what I'd recommend is that you set up a Power BI or a Tableau dashboard where you can get a high level snapshot of the way your whole portfolio is performing. Um, you can link this in with you know, things around SLA. So that might be audit scores. I've seen this as well in the past where clients will set up um, visits to sites or how many times we actually went to site. You can pull through, depending on your time and attendance system, uh, the amount of time that cleaners were spending on site. So you might have a, a dashboard that says, these are our audit scores. This is how much time our cleaners spent on site. This is how many visits that our site managers went to that um, went, went to that site in the last quarter or the last month, and see if you're compliant with the the SLAs that you've agreed with your with with your clients. So if we look at this dashboard, we can filter through for the specific sites. You can see we get an overall score for the sites that in our in our filter. 
Um, we can get um, the uh, average score for each category. So how have we performed in the toilet audits versus the kitchens in the last month? Um, we can see what our most common failed responses are. So what basically is the question that our regional management team is consistently saying, yeah, we're failing, we're failing. You can pull through a map location just to show where, where you're doing, like a heat map of where you're doing the most checks. And then we've set up just a link straight through to the actual um, order reports um, so that um, from the Power BI dashboard, you can just link straight through to the report. So this might be more of like an operations director. I don't have time to look at every individual report, but we can set up a dashboard that says, yep, yeah, this is how all your sites are performing. Um, here are the, the, the clear KPIs. So this is just an example dashboard that we've set up. Yeah, so operations director really just reviewing the high level information and maybe just acting and following up on sites that are performing poorly. Maybe you want to get into the detail of the photos and the actions of those poor performing sites, but really the dashboard is, is where I think you'll spend most of your time if you're at that director level. The final one, which is an optional one, but I've seen some people do it well in the past, is giving clients access to this system to be able to report issues and even view some of the information. You can do the, this through Safety Culture's uh, issues tool, but I'll just run you through an example that you could use for a client. You can give them a QR code, put it in their office on site and say, hey guys, if there's a cleaning issue that you identify or an issue with the building that's our responsibility, Scan the QR code and it will basically come through to a form. Um, and this form, they can provide uh, an explainer of you know, what the issue was. So here they can say the basin wasn't clean. They can add in um, a photo or a video to show what the issue was. So they'll take a photo of this you know, messy basin. Basically, what's valuable doing it through this tool versus another medium is that it's really quick to then assign it to someone in the team if I'm an operations manager. I can say, yep, clients complained. I can track that we've had that complaint in a dashboard. But then more importantly, I can quickly assign it to someone on the team so that they have visibility. They know that the clients complained about this. Um, so the client will, will raise that. If I then go to our issues tab as, a, as an operations director or manager, I can see the client has raised this, you know, basin was not clean issue. I can look at the photos. I can say if it's been fixed up or not. Um, here I'd want to, um, assign a corrective action is probably the, the best case if it's something that we can fix um, is yeah I can either assign the, 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 the issue so that someone's got visibility and we can communicate in the same way that the action tool works you can communicate in this activity field like it's a you know WhatsApp message but what's probably better is that we can create an action I'm going to assign it back to that site or back to that asset and I can say hey we need to do a clean the clients complained next time you get on site please make sure that we are are doing this so you can use basically issues for um, clients to be reactive give them a qr code it just lets them feel involved in the system and then like i say having a, a power bi dashboard you can just limit the visibility or, or give full visibility to the client so they can see um, how you're performing so how much is this thing going to cost you so if you look here safety culture has got a few different rates for um, their licenses there's the premium license which is at 24 dollars um, us per month or, or 20 pounds a month um, and then the light seat, which is five US dollars a month or four pounds a month. So how does that look for an example business? Let's just say we've got a, a cleaning business here with 1,200 staff. Um, there is 50 regional sort of managers that manage each site and then 1,000 cleaners. The managers and the operations directors, they're going to need a, a full seat for, for all the access. And then a cleaner who's just doing the training uh, and answering corrective actions, they'll just need a light seat. You can see basically the breakdown is going to end up being um, about £5,100 a month or US dollars a month. There's some scale that always gets brought, brought into that depending on the size of your business. So reach out to, uh, to us here at Bravis or to Safety Culture if you think to explore it. Great. So that's a full review of Safety Culture as it relates to a facilities management, building services or, or cleaning sort of business. If you want to set this up at your business, reach out to us here at bravistech.com where you can leave a comment on this YouTube video and I'll, I'll reach out to you. If you do want to go straight through to Safety Culture and set up for yourself, I'll put our discount code in the, in the video notes here, which will give you 5% off um, your, your Safety Culture subscription. Anyway, hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you've got any other sections of Safety Culture that you want me to do a, a, a video on. We'll try and release some more explainers um, coming up soon. Bravist Technology is a Safety Culture partner and we help safety culture clients to implement and, and get the most out of the safety culture platform. So feel free to reach out if you're a business, not in this space, but you're, you're um, keen to, to set safety culture up at, at your company.